Hi friends, welcome back. It's DJ Montague. I've got a quick video on how we're gonna either make you some money or make getting to tier three a lot easier. I'm talking a lot easier. Tons of moon breath, stick around. All right friends, so archeology span in the current currency meta is really good to do in large quantities. So you want to use all your energy for archaeology in tier two. Now this is Phaeton. This is Yorn. I'll show you guys a spot. This is here over in Shady Cliffs. You do this little square rectangle right here. Just walk around, do a little run for you guys. Show you what we're working with. Turn on the, uh, the old radar. They always spawn in the same spot. So when I see, uh, I know it's going to be right here when I see this radar going off nearby. Hit this. Get the mobs around you. Grab this. Now this is going to give you common mats and green mats. Now green mats are hyper important because of the next step. What you want to do is you want to go to your stronghold and craft these Yorn maps. Now what these maps are going to do is give you like tons of moon breaths, tons of materials. It won't give you tier two materials, which is the green materials. So you'll probably need to pick those up off the auction house or be using your energy to get around, grab those materials. But these are gonna give you tons and tons of moon breaths to help you optimize and get 20% more on your rolls for tier three materials to, or I'm sorry, tier two materials to get to tier three. Also for this, if you're looking to directly just make gold, you can sell these green materials on the auction house. And I'm sure after this video comes out, these green materials are gonna increase in price. So catching it at the right time, catching this video early is probably gonna help you out a lot. But this is a great way to start getting moon breaths. They are bound. So you cannot sell those on the auction house from these maps, but they make it so you can get tier three faster. Also hyper important, you can actually craft these adept craft kits, which are also worth a ton of gold. And if you get them in the map, they are sellable as well. And they're worth like 400 gold on the market right now. And I'm sure they're gonna shoot up because of how worth they are for crafting anyway. You can make purple tools with this adept craft kit, which is just immensely huge because you get three, uh, three passives on an adept craft kit or on a uh, excavating tool or something like that. These are super useful for later in the game. When you get a purple tool and you know you're gonna be crafting in an area, you can get rare material acquisition probability on it. Also with super armor while digging, stuff like that is really, really, really strong. So people want these adept craft kits and also these apprentice craft kits. So they also make money from that as well. So keep an eye out for all this stuff. It's a great way to make money right now. And it's a great way to get you from tier two to tier three. And this is mega important because the main bottleneck of tier two to tier three is the difficulty and the expense you're paying. So if you can circumvent getting 20% extra on each roll, this is a big deal on each tap, each whatever you want to call it, but making sure that you're actually getting your increases in your polishing. Friends, hopefully this helped you out today. I wanted to show you how excavating can get you from tier one to tier two, tier two to tier three, and which is most important is getting to tier three, being able to do Argos when it uh, uh, arrives in like three weeks and getting you some money because money is scarce right now and changing money from blue or changing gold to blue crystals is important, all that stuff. Just trying to help you out a little bit. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Follow me on Twitch. I'll probably be streaming right after the video goes live. If you have any questions, shoot me messages there. And uh, hope this works out for you. Hope it helps a lot. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.